What's up guys, it's Ray here. Welcome back to my channel. So a few months back, our favorite sister, oh all the sisters, James Charles had made a video titled I Follow the First Ever Makeup Art Tutorial. Okay, oh love that shot. Adrian, love that freeze frame, what is this? And as soon as I saw that video idea, I thought that was so sick, so cool, so fun and fresh. So today I'm going to be doing the artist version of following the first ever makeup tutorial, but instead of makeup, we're gonna do it with art supplies. It's, um, for those of you guys who don't know, maybe you're just too young, maybe I'm just too old, YouTube was started in 2005. And I remember it. I remember the good old days of YouTube, the wild west of YouTube. This was a time before money, before everybody was making big bank and trying to start businesses and like living their social media influencer lives. This was a time before Instagram. This was a time before Facebook. I can't even begin to describe like how different YouTube was back then. You couldn't upload past 10 minutes. There was no such thing as a custom thumbnail. As I said, there was no money to be made. Everything was pretty much in 240p quality. So pretty much all the videos look and sounded like this, just absolute potato quality. And I personally didn't start getting into YouTube till I was like maybe 13, 14 years old. In fact, I even created this very YouTube channel back in 2010 because I wanted to start putting out YouTube videos just because I enjoyed watching other people so much. And now it's gone full circle. So guys, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and follow the first ever YouTube art tutorial. Okay, so it is currently the next day and the reason why it's the next day is because I like to do this weird thing Where I like to film the intro first and then edit the whole entire thing completely since it's like one minute of uh, Video footage, but after editing last night I just got way too tired and I just was not feeling it and plus I've been stressed out because of inktober and not being able to do it so ah, Hi <laughs> So as far as the first ever YouTube art tutorial goes, I do have some criteria for it. Before this video that I found today, I did find some other YouTube art tutorials, but those pretty much all consisted of speed drawings that didn't really have much, if any, instruction at all. And what I was looking for was more or less like a traditional, this is step one, this is step two, intro, outro, boom. And with the way the YouTube search engine works, you can search by date, but the farthest back it'll go is the previous 365 days of year. And I had found so many videos from like 2007, 2008, but finally, 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 after literally a month of searching, I have found what I believe to be the very first YouTube art tutorial. And that is from a channel called, um, Sue Tabby? Sue to be. Whatever, this is the name of the YouTube channel. And as far as his YouTube channel goes, it looks like it hasn't been active in 11 years. And it looks like he was one of the very first art channels with his very first video titled My Sketchbook, which aired September 9th, 2006. And a few days later, on September 11th, 2006, it appears that he made his very first YouTube art tutorial. And coincidentally, on that very same day, not only did he make his very first art tutorial, but there's actually a part two to that tutorial. So I was thinking that today we can make it a twofer, and I would follow his very first instructional video, which is titled How to Make Charcoal Pencils, and his second ever video titled Drawing an Eye. Alright, here goes a quick tip. If you want your free charcoal, simply take some skewers. Ooh. Yeah, these are skewers. And a candle. Now we light up the candle. And you act like a pyromaniac. <laughs> oh wow. And heat up the skewer. Oh wow, I've never seen charcoal made that way. Yeah, that's good enough. So now that we have blow on it. A skewer heated up. We can now draw on the surface. So let's say that we drew on this piece of paper. Oh wow. He's not using any other angle. There you go. Free charcoal to be drawn. Of course it doesn't last for long and you gotta reheat it back up. Oh that's a pain. Like so. Not a good idea if you live with your parents <laughs> and your house smells like fire. But it's a good idea if you want free charcoal. Okay, step one. Light some stuff on fire, apparently. A few moments later. Okay, so first, <laughs> this cannot be a good idea. I just realized how bad this is. Like, first we're gonna light something on fire, then we're gonna directly put it on paper. How could this go wrong? Okay, so we're just gonna light this baby up. Just like that. 
And I feel like this skewer is gonna be kind of long to work with. Like, do you see how long it is? So I think I'm gonna break it a little bit. <laughs> that way I can have a little bit more control of what I'm doing. <gasps> okay, moment of truth. Okay, just blow it out, and then I guess I'll just write my name. It's working! Oh my gosh, it's working! Not very long, because I couldn't, can't even write my name, really. Burn some more. Oh god. <laughs> it literally just broke on me. Ray. I mean, I think I would rather just pay like the extra $4 at Hobby Lobby and buy the pencils because I don't recommend doing this because it's pretty dangerous. I feel like you're literally lighting something on fire and then putting it on paper directly. It's much safer and much better quality to get a real charcoal pencil. So I don't want any lawsuits. <laughs> okay, so moving on to drawing an eye. Uh, this has 10,000 views, which is actually really, really good for 2006 because like I said, 50,000 views was like viral videos back then. Uh, let's see if the quality's any better. Nope, okay. <laughs> okay, well we tried. Okay, get my fire ready. Relight it. Okay, drawing an eye. Hello, this is Joey. Um, Joey, his name's Joey. I'm gonna be showing you a quick little tutorial on drawing an eye. Uh, you can just start with uh, a box out shape, so let's say like this. <laughs> All right. And okay. Yep. Okay. So step one: draw a box-like shape. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. Dude, Joey. No offense, Joey. Dude, I no offense, but this charcoal really sucks. Let's go ahead and start to draw in the detail. Let's say this would be the start of the eye. No, come over and down. Oh god, mine's like looking way thick compared to his. Let me let me go get an eraser. Not even what ten seconds in, and I need an eraser. Oh wow, that erase is actually really really nice. Go ahead and draw the eye inside, the pupil. And there's usually a glare. And there's also a little thin line underneath the eye where the eyelashes were start. And there's a little bit of... Okay, making the eyelid. Or the shade right there. Okay. Yes. And there's also a little thin Line underneath the eye where the eyelashes were start. There's a little bit of. Well, he's going too fast. He's going way too fast. He's like, no, no, no. Okay, so yeah, you make. Uh, I'm gonna need the eraser again. Okay, so I'm just gonna recarve this out. Okay, go in. He said to add in the glare. Okay, glare is added. Uh, what's next? There's a little bit of, of a shade right there. So, um, start to add some detail for the eye. Yeah, it looked too good. Okay, added detail. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I can't add detail if I'm out. I feel like one of those ladies from the 40s with like those old cigarettes that are all long, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Charles. I know. Alright, and that's more or less it. And you can start to end up the eyelashes. Fairly easy. And there goes your basic eye. Add some more shadows on the side. It's so hard to carve. This is a session three. It's so hard to get details with this like really thick thing. So I think I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. 
I can't believe how fast that tutorial went by. That one was only two minutes and 15 seconds long. Can you imagine me doing a tutorial nowadays that's only two minutes long? That'd be crazy. Okay. Wow, okay. Add a little bit more smudging there. And we are done. We have finished. Wow, that went by super, super, super quick. That actually looks really, really cool. I've never done an eye that's like so stylized as this. It's pretty cool. But now I'm kind of curious to know like what this guy is up to in modern times. Like, does he have a website? Yeah, no, he has absolutely no information about where he's from, what he's currently up to. Cause I'm kind of curious to know. I wish we could find him in modern times and like reach out to him, see what he's doing, seeing how he progressed as an artist. And most importantly, see if he still uses the charcoal pencil. So as quickly as that went by, that was literally like, what, three, four minutes of footage. And that's honestly how tutorials were back then. You know, now you can literally just type in how to draw an eye and you'll get endless, endless, endless search results of all different types of eye drawings, different artists, different personalities, different mediums. Like we're talking whatever you want. YouTube in 2018 probably has whatever you're looking for. But that wasn't the case back then. What you got back then was what you got. And that was actually really a really good tutorial. So. And actually, I think I'm gonna turn this into a series. Like I can do the first ever watercolor, first ever inking, first ever pen, first ever painting. I think that would be really interesting because I did find the first ever YouTube oil painting tutorial on here. So, wow. <laughs> so guys, there you have it. That was the very first YouTube art tutorial. Of course, if you would like to follow me on all my social links, I will leave them, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> and shout out to Stubby.